What are the rules to become successful in life? So I'm going to be sharing with you today what are the things you can do for you to become successful in life. Okay, become successful, it does not mean only about the about money so success means a, a different meaning to people and then you can become successful in any area of your life it's not only the money that when you have too much money you have too much uh, dollars in your bank account or you have too much money that is when you're successful no it's not only about the money there are so many areas of your life there's so many places there's so many things that you need to become successful so that's what i want to share with you for you to know what are the rules that will help you to become successful in your life? My name is Fola. I'm a coach and author. I coach women on how to overcome limiting barrier and believe that the society, the culture, the tradition are placed on women. And I just wrote the book. The title of the book is Woman Live for More. So you can get the book on Amazon. You can get the book on Seller. You can get the book on Gumroad. You can get just send me a direct message to get the book. And the book is available. Ebook is available. And the paperback is available also. So you can send me a direct message to get the book. So thank you for those who have subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. And for those who have not subscribed, I, really, I want to tell you this is the right time for you to subscribe. And I will let you know why you need to subscribe. Because this channel is all about to motivate you, encourage you, and to share a lot of useful information for you as an individual to fulfill your calling and purpose. Because God has created you for a purpose. You are here on this earth for a reason. There is a purpose for your life. So when you subscribe to my channel, then we are going to motivate you and encourage you and share a lot of useful information for you to be able to fulfill your calling and purpose and don't forget to like the video to share and leave your comments let me know what you think first i would like to ask what does success means to you okay because everybody we have different meaning about success yes so what does it mean to you what do you understand by becoming a successful in life what are the area of your life that you're looking toward that you are you want to become so what are the areas of your life that you are trying your best you do your best to become successful but it seems like uh, things is not working, you know, you are doing everything. So just leave your comments, let me know what you think, and I will check all the comments. So the first one I want to share is to spend quality time with yourself. Spend quality time with your children, if you have children, if you have a partner, spend quality time with them, friends, your colleagues, your family, your loved ones, you know, whoever that you have in your life. Whoever that you have in your circle, spend quality time with them. And make sure you spend quality time with yourself. By doing that, you are going to become successful in life. Because you cannot be alone. One tree cannot make a forest. We have to be depending on each other. So we have to support each other, to be there for each other, to care for each other, you know, to do so many things together, to collaborate and become successful. So you have to spend quality time with yourself and with the loved ones. The second one I'm going to share is to stop comparing yourself to others. This is very dangerous and then it's going to lead to so many things for you as an individual if you compare yourself to others. And the life we are now, we are, uh, the life we are living now is about social media. It's not everything that we see on social media is real. I'm telling you, it's not everything that you see that is real. Some are fake, some are real. Okay? So don't see somebody live on social media, or you see them, they are your neighbor, or they are your, they are your colleague at work, or whoever they have to you. Don't compare your life with them. Comparison is going to lead to disaster for you. It's going to damage your life, it's going to damage your well being, it's going to do a lot of, you know problem for you so don't ever try it you are unique you are special you are wonderful and fearfully made you know the way god created you that is who you are so don't compare yourself with anyone if you don't like who you are try to do something about yourself and change any bad habits anything you don't like about yourself just put in the action okay put in the action and do the necessary thing you need, you need to get more knowledge you need to 
acquire more education, you need to go back to school, you need to build your self-esteem, you need to read books, you know, anything that you can do for you to become the person you want to become. You can become anything you want to become. But comparing yourself to someone else is never a solution. You can never become successful if you compare yourself to anyone. You can't. So don't ever compare yourself with anyone. Instead of, instead of comparing yourself to someone, why don't you focus on your purpose? The purpose why you are here on this earth. Why don't you focus on yourself? Focus on your own strength. Then you can work on your weakness. And then focus more on your experience that you have. Focus on, on more on what you have. Okay, be satisfied, be grateful, be who you are. Okay, so all those things will help you not to compare yourself with anybody. So when you are comparing yourself to, with someone, or you're comparing your children, or you are comparing anything to something, you will not become successful. So the next thing I'm going to share is to find a support system very kind to you, that very honest, that going to motivate you, encourage you, that going to inspire you, that very cool yes. and very grateful. And make sure you choose your friend wisely. When you are finding support system, don't choose just anybody. And mind your tribe, people that you, you know, you mingle, people that you hang around with, because that is going to tell a lot about who you are. So the next thing I'm going to share is to be grateful for what you are. Okay, there's so many things we want to have, we wish, we desire, we demand, but still we don't have them. So what are you going to do? To become successful, you need to be grateful for what you have. Grateful is To be grateful is very good and it's going to take you to a long way. It's going to help you more. Because when you are grateful for what you have, then you'll be able to focus on the present, work more, be able to get what you have. But when you focus on what you don't have, you're not going to live at the moment, you're not going to work at the present, you're not going to do the necessary thing to get what you want. But when you focus on what you have, when you are grateful for what you have, grateful for your life, your career, your education, your family, your job, whatever that you have, no matter how small it is, no matter how big it is, just be grateful. Be grateful for the life that you are living, the breath in and out. Everything you sleep, you wake up, you go out, you come, everything. Be, be grateful for your head, for your community, you know. When you have a shoe and you feel like the shoe is not nice, it's not variable, it's outdated, whatever. But when you just somebody without leg, that is when you appreciate that, wow, thank God for your home. Okay, and somebody without leg, they are still grateful because they are still alive. So just no matter what stage you are in your life, no matter what, just be grateful. Grateful art is going to help you and it will go a long way. So the number five I'm going to share, accept your past and move on. Okay, you have made a mistake in life. You just, it's like when you, maybe you are walking on the road, I will just fade down, you just fall down suddenly. So what you need to do, and you are going somewhere, you don't need to, when you just fell down suddenly, you will not stay there. And nobody is passing by to help you, to hold your hand and lift you up. Nobody's there. What you need to do, you just have to get up, dust yourself, then keep moving because that is not your destination. So don't stalk in your past. Don't let your past judge you. Don't be a victim of your past. Past is expired, right? Past is gone. Past is not the present. And the past is not the future. So don't stalk in your past. Don't allow your past to limit you. Don't allow your past to condition you. Don't allow your past to know you are worth more than what you think. So don't stalk in your past. So you need to learn from your past to be able to make a better future. Just learn from it, anything you can learn from it, any lesson, any mistake, anything you do, don't, don't, just learn from it and move on. Okay, present is the only place that you can act, you can live and love. Okay, when you live at the present, then you're able to act, you'll be able to love and be able to live. Life is too short, don't waste it. Life is too short, please don't waste it. And I will see you in my next video. The part two of this video will be out soon. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, to like the video, and let me know what you think.